Hello and welcome to another lecture on switch mode power converters. We are continuing our lecture series on buck switching regulators and in today's lecture we will be calculating the switching losses in a buck converter. So switching action can be considered in two steps. The first one when the switch is open then our circuit looks something like this. So in this case you can see that no current can flow through the uh, transistor Q so I is equal to 0 but all this voltage appears across the uh, transistor Q so we can write that during T off the current through the transistor is 0 however the voltage stress on the transistor is equal to the supply voltage VDC. Now when the switch is turned on then whole of the output current I0 flows through this transistor but assuming ideal condition the voltage across the transistor when the switch is on the voltage is equal to 0. So during T on, we can write that the current through the transistor is equal to I0 while the voltage across the transistor is equal to 0. So this we can draw in terms of a diagram. So imagine that the transistor is in the off state. So the voltage across it is equal to V0 while the current through the transistor I0 is equal to 0 and this is the T off mode of the transistor. Now when the transistor is turned on the voltage across it V is equal to 0 while the complete load current I0 flows through the transistor when it is turned on. So this is the T on mode of operation. So somewhere in between we have the switching action taking place. So this transition here is from T off to T on where the voltage across the transistor would go from V0 to 0 and the current through the transistor will increase from 0 to I0. And when I multiply these two curves this gives me my AC switching loss during one period. So let's see how we can do that. So let's go to another clean page. So if I want to write an expression of the current I of T, I can write it as the slope. So the slope would be this current, which is I naught minus zero divided by let's say this starting point is zero and after a time T on the transistor would be fully turned on so the uh, time difference here is T on so this is my slope y2 minus y1 over x2 minus x1 times x which is the time variable so this x is here is this is time and this gives me the expression of the current. Similarly, I can write an expression of the voltage V of T and V of T will be the same we calculate the slope. So the slope would be minus V naught Y2 minus Y1 divided by T on. So minus V naught over T on times t plus we need 
a y intercept because the voltage is starting from v0 at 0. So this gives me the expression of v of t and you can see that the AC switching loss P of t is nothing but integral V of t times I of t averaged over one period. The limits go from 0 to t on dt. This is the expression of the switching loss in a transistor during one switching action from off state to on state. So this expression we'll solve in the next lecture and we'll see what the uh, AC switching loss comes out to be. So see you in the next lecture. Thank you.